Okay, so today we're going to talk about why your 8700 series power center is not charging your battery. So when we get to our power center, we're going to take our door assembly off. We're going to turn our main breaker and converter breaker on. As you can see, my 12 volt lights came on. We're going to go ahead and check the output of our converter by taking our positive probe. See this little lug down here, it says VCC. So positive down there and then negative come out the back. And you can see I'm at 13.7 volts. Now I'm gonna go around here and check my battery. And at my battery, we're only getting 12.71 volts. So that converter voltage is not getting to the battery. The first thing you want to check is starting at the battery. Back here what we have is an inline fuse. The OEMs put this in, this is between the battery and the converter, that's the first thing you want to check. So we know that fuse is good. Now we're going to get to the converter itself. So what you're going to see is my reverse polarity fuse here at the bottom. Right above that, our number six fuse says red off to the side. Red is your battery positive. So to charge your battery, you need to have the fuse present in that circuit. I put a fuse in. I'm gonna check my converter voltage. 13. Six one. I'm going to go to my battery up over here. Now I'm on my battery and we're getting that battery voltage there. As you can see that voltage is a little lower than what we're getting at the converter and that is caused by voltage loss. And voltage loss is created by the connections to and from your converter to your battery over here and the distance between the two. So you always want to make sure you have good tight connections between those two points from your converter to the battery. You want the distance as short as possible in the largest gauge of wire between those and that's going to limit that voltage drop. 